Welcome to your 2023 Pilates program. My name is Melanie, your mildly goth Pilates instructor. Today we're going to be doing a Pilates reformer workout for total body. We're going to have fun. So please, if you would, load on three red springs or three reds and one blue, aka three heavy or three heavy and one light, and meet me lying down on the mat. So we're going to begin with our arches of the feet on the outer corners. Knees will be turned outward, arms long by your sides or up over your shoulders, depending on what feels best to you. We're going to begin with some footwork, which is not just for your feet, it's for your whole body. So you should definitely do it. So we're gonna begin in a neutral spine position, flexing through the ankle, big breath in, exhale, extend the carriage away. Inhale, bring it in slowly with control. So you'll see I'm not letting momentum just, <laughs> just shoot me in. That's what you don't want. I'm resisting the springs to bring it all the way in. So I'm really forcing all of my muscles to work here. It's not just about the out, it's 100% about the out and the in. So we're gonna go for about another another four here, really flexing through the ankle, pushing all the way through the arches of the feet, keeping that turnout. So we've got a nice kind of wide pyramid position or second position. And I'm taking care not to pop my ribs up. I've got a neutral spine, which means I've got a natural curve in my low back, but I'm not overstressing it. Good. Last one. I'm gonna pause here in this half in, half out position. I'm gonna take tiny pulses up and down, really feeling inner thighs, possibly a little glutes too here as I'm pulsing the carriage up and down, moving it away and back. Good, let's go for another five, four, three, two, one. Big breath in, exhale, extend both knees straight. Inhale, bring it all the way back in. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little fancy with my footwork and I'm gonna bring the balls of the feet to the outer corners. If this doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can keep the feet flat, but lifting the heels will give you a little calf as well. So big breath in, I'm gonna exhale, push the carriage away, keeping the heels up in that releve or high heel position. And I'm gonna resist the springs, bring it all the way back in. So taking care not to collapse the pelvis into an imprint as I come in. I really wanna keep that neutral spine so the bottom of the sacrum is really heavy on the mat. I'm taking care to try to keep the heels lifted if you can find that position. You may not be able to bring the carriage all the way into like almost a closed position that really requires quite a bit of mobility through the hips and even through the ankles to a certain degree. But bring it back to the comfortable position for you. Just keeping the heels lifted, that's completely fine. I'm gonna take three more. So I'm definitely feeling more calves, even a little bit more inner thighs here, which is kind of cool to observe, but just take stock of what you feel that's different from when the feet were flat on the foot bar. It might surprise you. Last one, I'm gonna bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight as I press the right heel under, lift both heels. I'm gonna go for a prance in this external rotation, switching sides. Left knee bends, right leg straight. Right knee bends, left leg is straight. So with that straight leg, I'm sending one heel under the foot bar. It'll be a little bit hard, kind of a brain teaser to think about it. Just think about one leg bends, the other is straight. I'm getting a little bit of a calf stretch on that straight leg's calf, which is pretty nice. Definitely getting inner thighs, especially on that bent leg. Some calves here too. Good, I'm gonna take one more each side. After you're even, lift out both heels, bend the knees, bring it home, and we're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna continue on with some more hands and straps variations. We're gonna flip on to one red and one blue or one heavy and one light. I'm gonna come back down to lying on the machine. Headrest will be up. I'm gonna reach back, find those straps wherever they may be. Place one strap in each hand. Legs come to tabletop, and again, if you're you know, building strength in your core, you're welcome to just cross the feet at the ankles. That's totally fine too. And what I'm gonna begin doing is just pressing down with straight arms. You're welcome to take a curl up with the head, neck, and shoulders. If you need a little bit more room between your shoulders and the shoulder blocks, I encourage you to find that now. And you're welcome to take any variation you like, such as lifting up with the head, neck, and shoulders and staying up, or lifting and lowering each time the arms press. Good, I'm just gonna take three more here to warm up through the upper body. Last two, exhaling as the arms press down. And one, good. Now I'm gonna lift the arms up over the shoulders, bring the hands a little bit wider than your shoulders. I'm gonna go for a V. So palms come down to the mat. As they raise up, they're not directly over the shoulders, they're a little bit wider. 
pressing down toward the hips, bring it back up on that upward V. Just observe what feels different. Does this feel harder? Does it feel easier? Do you feel a little bit more work through your upper back? Do you feel different muscles firing? No correct answers. <laughs> Just observe what's going on. For me, I feel a lot more core work, which is really interesting. We're gonna take four more. Arms are really straight. This is three. Exhaling as you press down. Last two. And one. Lower down. Palms flip to face down. We raise the arms up. Press the arms back down. We're gonna go for a small circle. So the hands are hovered right above the mat, reaching long with the hands and the arms. I'm gonna take small circles, just the size of a small ball, keeping those fingertips reached long. We're gonna go for 10 in total. This is five, four, three, two, one. Reverse directions for 10. Keeping those fingers reached long, elbows nice and long. You've got five, four, three, two, one, back to center, arms lift up, rest the feet on the foot bar, we're gonna move on. Next, we're gonna take the straps, place them onto the arches of the feet, reaching the legs up to the ceiling, we're gonna go for some feet and straps variations. If you've been following my Pilates program in January, this one's gonna be a little bit different, but we're gonna play with some themes that we've learned already to kind of build your skills. So we're gonna begin by flipping to Pilates V, heels together, toes apart, Bottom of the sacrum is really heavy on the mat, so increasing well through the hips, flexing through the feet. I'm gonna lower the feet down to 45, legs straight, raise them back up. This is a little bit of a warm up. Lowering the legs down, using your abdominals to raise them back up, increasing at the hips. Nice hamstring stretch on the way up too. Good, just three more. Then we're gonna move on. Squeezing the inner thighs together, like you're trying to hold a ribbon between your knees. Our $100 bill, that's more motivating for some of you. And last one. Good, now we're gonna go for baby frog. Lower down to 45, heels together, knees apart. We bring the knees in toward the chest and extend out long. You may be tempted to bring them way, way in toward the torso. We don't necessarily need to do that. We wanna keep the spine in a neutral position so at the bottom of the sacrum is heavy on the mat. It's so not necessarily wrong to bring them in further, but we want to keep that neutral spine today. We don't, don't want to go into imprint in this class necessarily, at least not right now. Good. Let's go for three more. Still getting lots of inner thighs, hip flexors, hamstrings, glutes. Good. And last one. Now we're gonna go for leaping frogs. So I'm gonna bend the knees, heels together, point the toes, I'm gonna to extend the legs out to a straddle position, flex the feet, squeeze them into the midline. Bend the knees, find your frog, point the toes, extend them out to your straddle, flex the feet, lots of inner thighs as we bring the legs back to starting. Let's continue this for another three. Flexing the feet as you squeeze, point as you bring them in, exhale. Back to midline, two more. You're welcome to take the height of these legs to your level of comfort. If you're feeling a lot of stabilization, very low is totally fine. I'm gonna take a more moderate version today. Last one. Good, pause here. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Hold onto the ropes as you let the feet drift down into the well. Big breath in, exhale. Let it go. We're gonna hold on to the right rope in the right hand as we extend the leg out to the side, get a little bit of an inner thigh stretch. Give a little bit of a pull on that rope if you need more stretch. Bring the foot into the center, left leg goes out to the side. Hold on to that left rope for support, flexing that foot as you pull on that left rope for a little bit more. Legs extend up to the ceiling, heels over your hips, flex through the ankle, pull on the, the ropes for a little bit of a hamstring stretch. And we're going to take one strap off at a time, anchor yourself with the, on the foot bar. Once you've taken one strap off, we're gonna move on for our final sequence. Let's finish up with some core. So I switched onto one blue spring or one light spring. You could alternately do one red or one heavy if you want a little bit more resistance. I'm gonna bring my knees up against the shoulder blocks. Toes are not curled under. And I'm gonna place my hands onto the wooden frame or the metal frame in this case in front of me. 
My thumbs will be aligned with the rest of my fingers on the outside of the frame. I'm gonna walk my hands just a little bit further than my shoulders. I'm gonna find a neutral spine so I'm not tucked under and I'm not arched. Gaze is down in front of me. I'm gonna press up through the palms. So I've got pressure, big breath in. Exhale, pull the carriage forward. I'm gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Big breath in. If you need a little more resistance, switch the spring or walk your hands out a little further as a first test. Big breath in, exhale, pull forward. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. We're gonna go for one more in this position. Big breath in, press through the palms, neutral spine. Exhale, pull forward and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bring it back to starting. Now we're gonna find a nice curved spine. So instead of that neutral spine, I'm gonna curve up. So I've got this roundness through my upper back. I'm gonna take a big breath in. Your gaze is a little bit further in this time. Exhale, pull forward, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Where would that feel different? Take stock. Let's keep an observation on that as we go for our next two reps. Big breath in. Find that curve. Exhale, pull forward and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Releasing tension in the traps and in the neck as much as you can. Shake it out if you need to. Last one. Big breath in. Exhale, curving through the spine. Pull forward. We hold for five, four, three, two, one. One, release it down. Sit back on your heels if you need to. Shake out the wrists or roll them out if you're feeling any discomfort. We're gonna continue with some knee pulses for lower abdominals. So finding that spot on the frame, wherever you feel comfortable, you're gonna find a neutral spine this time. So not curved up, not arched, just kinda somewhere in between. And I'm gonna begin pushing up through those palms, Pulling forward, now I'm gonna pulse the knees in toward your chest and back. Let's go for a brisk pulse. We're gonna go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Using your lower abdominals more than your legs, more than your arms here. It can get really tough. Last three, two, one. Relax it back, take a quick child's pose. Big breath in, hips down to your heels. Exhale, release. Let's take one more. Wipe off your hands if you need to, if you're getting sweaty. I know I am. I'm gonna walk my hands a little further out for a little more range. Stick wherever you feel like is challenging, but doable. And we're gonna push up through the palms. Big breath in, exhale, pull forward. Knees come in and out for 10. Once again, focus on using your abs rather than your legs or rather than gripping through your upper body. You've got five four. That means you need to take the range a little bit smaller. It's totally fine. Do what you can. Last one. Big breath in. Exhale. Bring it back to starting. Find your child's pose. Deep inhale. Exhale. Release. Roll up to sitting. Find a comfortable seated position. I'm going to just find a nice cross-legged position. Arms long by my sides or on the kneecaps. I'm going to take a big breath in. Exhale, closing my eyes, rolling the shoulders back, feeling my head come a little bit taller. And relax, big breath in, exhale, shoulders come up toward the ears, roll back and melt down. Good, I'm gonna look over my right shoulder toward the right wall and back to center, look over my left shoulder and back to center, right ear to right shoulder, keeping the shoulders right where they are without tilting or shifting. Feeling stretch through the traps, back to center. The left ear to the left shoulder, keeping that right shoulder heavy without raising it up. Back to center. I'm gonna bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Just open your eyes, glance up toward the ceiling. Feel a stretch through your neck and traps, kind of even up toward where your left ear is. Eyes forward, back to center. Left ear to left shoulder, eyes up toward the ceiling. Relax your mouth like you're a dead fish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eyes forward, head back up. Eyes close one more time. Take a big breath and roll your shoulders back. Sit up as tall as you can. Relax any tension you have in your upper body and you did it. Thank you so much for joining. You did an awesome job. Please subscribe to my channel. Come back. I'm gonna do a lot more of these workouts in January and beyond. And I would love to see you here. Thanks so much.